Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today we have a very, very, very exciting video for you guys because the dogs have officially gotten their little outdoor home, which is where they're going to be whenever we need to like leave them home alone. That way they have an indoor area they can sleep in with their beds, but then they also have an outdoor area where they can like go out, go to the bathroom, sunbathe because these dogs love sunbathing for some reason, or just hang out. And you can kind of see it back here, but we are going to be doing a reveal. Right now, John is adding the final piece. He needed to go grab a ruler because he needs it to be exact. And here's Dior. First thing this guy did was take a pee in there. Almost done or what? Almost like What do you think about it? Fire. <laughs> okay, so as soon as he's finished, I'll show you guys. That way you just see the final product instead of saying like the almost done and then the done. Stay out here, boy. But anyways, it's so exciting. So stay tuned in like five seconds for you guys. Two minutes for us. Guys, it's all finished. So let me show you the outside. So as you can see, we have these kennels set up here. It's the kennels we've always had. They basically have this little, let me close this so I can show you how it opens. It opens, you literally pull up and then pull it out. Those are the little kennels. They are separated in the middle so that they're never alone together because these dogs are wilding out and Dior is on a humping spree recently. Then for some reason, John put these up here. I'm not really sure why. Why'd you do that? Because we don't have a middle mount. Because we don't have a middle mount connected to the shed. But, so this is their outdoor little backyard to their house. That's their little backyard. So they each have a door over here for easy access like in and out. So there it is little access then let me show you this side first this is gonna be sage's side you come in here this is a doggy door so you can literally you can literally pull that out doggy door is behind it so sage can go in and out from inside the shed then she has all this area to vibe around in and then let me go over to the other side because over here also ignore all this fluff sage did that um over here let, let me do a little tour close this up first so it's a tough shed right cute little thing another doggy door on this side so whoever's on this side aka dior can also come in and out and then we had to bolt these to the shed so that they would actually stay and then here's the tour look at this dog in there so as you can see, doggy door from the inside. They are separated by this little gate we just put up. Another doggy door for the other dog. Then they got their own AC unit in here. We got a ring camera to watch their little ass. Yeah. What do you think about this? Oh, this is clean. We just gotta figure out where we're gonna connect the camera. So this is the vibe, guys. They get their own little doggy door right now. We're going to bring them out. They're going to have to learn how to get out of that because yesterday they were confused by it. And we don't want them to forget that they can come out and then end up pooping and peeing in here. But they get their own little AC unit. That way when it's hot out, they don't have to be out here all the time. They could come out there. They could take a nap in there. We're going to put their beds, their cages in there. Then we're going to be out here just leaving them with like a water bowl, some ice. And then some toys and this is basically the dog's little house tour and so right now we need to train them to go in and out of those doggy doors and we need to bring out their cages and their beds and then we will update uh, you guys with the very final 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 product so stay tuned guys they're in their respective sides although it's the opposite of what they should be but anyhow i'm gonna go in here and i'm gonna show you guys we just trained them to learn to go in through the doggy doors so let me get in there. Deer's probably gonna beat me in there because he's a fatty and anything involving food, he goes fast for. Go through the doggy doors. Good girl, Sage. There's a treat. Deer, come here. Where is this guy? Deer, come on. Look at him. I'm in here, come on. Good boy. There's your treat. Guys, I think they've learned. And then, wait, wait, stay. Stay. Good girl. Okay, come here. Good boy, good girl. It's on the floor, baby, it's on the floor. Guys, I say that's a success. We're gonna fill up their water bowls. 
with ice and water, put them out here. Then we're gonna put their toys in there and then we'll switcheroo them because right now they are. Then we're gonna switcheroo them because right now they're on the opposite sides of where they're supposed to be. And then we will show you guys. Oh, see, she just went back in there. Good, she understands how it works. So BRB guys, catch you guys once we have everything set up. We need to grab their toys, their water bowls, and some treats. Guys, guys, guys. They're biting something. I don't know what they're eating though. But they're crunching something. Oh my god. Where is it going? It's an ice cube. Oh. <laughs> guys. Here. Guys, the setup. Guys, the setup is complete. Go on in there. Okay. Dior got his little toys. His water bowl with some ice cubes, some toys. Sage got the same thing. You just saw her come out. We're going to put the treat in there. And we're going to see how they like it. So stay tuned. I feel like a stuck. I feel like a stuck. Oh, look, look, look. Sage went in there. And Dior's just standing out there like a weirdo. But tell them what you were saying. All right, so we're going to test it out. Before we leave anywhere and leave them there for good, we're going to test it out. For like good? Like leave them there when we go out, cause it's, that's only for when they're when we're not here, you know. Cause instead of leaving them in their little cages, we wanted to have them have like a good amount of space. We can't leave them in here because you know the accidents they've been having, and also we can't leave them together. So we're gonna leave them out there right now for like an hour or two just to test it while we're home, just in case we do see something happening. We're home. Are you recording me? Cause it's like pointing that way. <laughs> <laughs> just so we could uh, act on it if anything does happen. Um, yeah. So yeah, so we're gonna monitor the cameras. We got one inside the house and one outside the house where we can see both of them very clearly. Um, you know the one outside the house is right here on the table, right? Nope, I put it already. Okay. So yeah, I set it up both already and that's, and we're just gonna monitor them and see how- What do you think, read the house? It's fire, bro. It actually works out pretty clean. So we'll, we'll keep you guys updated when we stock them, but as of now, we're just gonna let them chill for a little bit.